Good morning, internet, and it is a flippin' miracle. While I was moving my shovels around and doing all that, out, oh, it's already gone. Out of the uh, pod was a thousand kilograms of crude oil, which looks like that. Just enough to fill the rocket. So, Frankie, oh, wait, before I do anything. Okay, make sure it's pointing at the right place. And then we cook everything. Don't care about cooking everything. Cooking everything is perfectly fine by me. All right. And let's see, how much is this? Two, three, four, five. So that's 200 kilograms, so that's 100 kilograms because this cuts it in half. So I basically have 200 kilograms of petroleum. That is not enough for another trip, but it's halfway. So let's turn you back on. Uh, see, I've got this pump, getting rid of the hydrogen. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my extra space yet. Oh, they're fleeing from you because you now see an egg. I don't know why they're hanging out there. But what I know I need... Is I need... The liquid output of that tank to go through a filter. So I don't think I need... Alright, well I definitely don't need the slicksters now. I mean, hopefully I don't, because, good God, they were just way more annoying than it was worth. So let's turn off carbon dioxide filters. You bridge that way. Well, that was not right. Yeah, because now you're feeding in oxygen. Damn it. I want to do it there. Perfectly fine. There, now you're bypassing. This we don't care about. There's some meat over there. We are going to hook. Deconstruct you. I don't know if that needs to be insulated or not. Don't care. We want to pump everything out of here so we can turn this back into a vacuum. How long do I have? Five cycles. You deconstruct. I really hope I don't have to deal with slicksters again. That was a lot of cycles of just not much happening. All right, headbangers die. If I should just leave that water down there so it helps transmit heat. Whatever, we will see what happens. So I realize I'm fill filling up this entire area with carbon dioxide, which sucks for transmitting heat. So yeah, we'll leave the water in there. Oh, you can't pump because it's passing through you. letting out all of the nasty. And then we turned you back on, so we're making oxalite. Of course, I didn't check to see how much we have. Oh, we've got 3,000. Never mind. We don't need oxalite. That reduced this one from running, so all this can get pumped out. Oxy fern, I don't need. I don't even know if I need algae, but whatever. The rocket launched, and hopefully it comes back with something good. You can die. Yeah. You will deconstruct. 
deconstruct. I'm going to reuse some of this piping. Don't need the power cord. Wait. You are empty. Perfect. No, nope. cancel. I want to deconstruct that. I want to put in a liquid tank. Wow, there's filter and filter. I wonder what temperature this is going to come out at. Huh, I should probably make all this out of steel, just in case it comes out stupid hot. And I have steel. Hopefully it comes out cold. Cold would be nice. So we're going to save that. Oh, now I'm going to have to move that down one. So liquid coming out of that tank. Oh, I've melted enough stuff, I actually have some igneous rock. But I think sedimentary is good enough. Just think about something that handles rocket blast. And again, we're gonna hope it's cold. You come through there. Bang, if you are crude oil. You will feed it into that pipe. And if you are petroleum, I got too many pipes around here. Well, I don't need this loop anymore. That loop was the cool slush geyser cooling loop and it's dormant. So we can get that out of the way and then redo it later. How? How did I drop a solid tile onto a cart? Sometimes. So liquid, crude oil. So then that crude oil gets fed around to the petroleum, to the refinery. And the petroleum itself and go straight into the rocket. And you need power. Oh, that they can't reach because we need to open this. How's this pumping going? All right, you're getting down there. Oh, that shovel got into everything. Perfect, I actually killed it someplace we can get to it. That is handy. You're not quite down below 200 yet. Yep, and there's no more irrigation from there. How long do you have? 22 cycles and 26. All right, I shouldn't need the incubator anymore. You can go back to being regular tiles. Kind of weird power issues do we have around here? All right. And this cooling loop doesn't need to be nearly as big. I mean, everything's all nice and chill except for the steam turbines. I guess we'll leave it for now till I figure out what I want to do. That doesn't need to be made out of steel anymore. Somehow I ended up with pyrite. Deconstruct only the buildings. There's an airflow tile, all right. 
Alright, and then we'll have a room for doing something else. How are we doing on sandstone? Down to 45 tons. Ooh, that's what I needed. I just remembered what I needed the incubator for. Oh, never mind. I've got hatches of glow. Hatches of plenty down here. Angle you. How old are you? Oh. Perfect. There. Now we can reload the hatch farm. All right. Let's bring you in. That way our rocket doesn't hit it. What are we down to? 1.8 cycles. This is nearly back to a vacuum. More shovel eggs. I don't need them. But we might as well. Because I believe you are set to sleep only of shovel eggs. So. Yeah, sweet. Yep, perfect. And then you ship the extra ones off. I turned this critter counter down to a more reasonable number, just because I really have so much meat that I probably don't even need to ranch anymore. Oh, where are you getting water from? I really don't understand why a bunch of water just came through. Is there something? Yeah, I have no idea what's happening there. Hopefully we won't have any meteors when the rocket comes back. Oh, that's my guy's dumping water. Okay, now I understand. Really wish you could sweep up space artifacts. You just sit down there because I don't have any place to put them. How's that doing temperature wise? Oh, that's fine. That is glorious. Faster. Oh! Almost missed it. Slow that down. Alright, so what are we looking for? We need 600 kilograms of petroleum. And we have 400. And 600 of oil. Which is 300, so that's 700 kilograms? If I'm doing my math right, because we get half of that, so that's 700, so that means we get a launch and a half for each one of those. There's already 10 in there. So yeah, 600. So I think I need to go there one more time and then I can go get niobium. Yeah, so you immediately dump all the petroleum into the rocket. Oh, I forgot to check the temperature. 29. 78, 77, oh, that's a perfectly reasonable temperature. So that's all the petroleum, which we had a bit of. I think I can risk it. I think I can go, oh no, because then I need a cargo. I'd have to reconfigure for cargo. Okay. So 
So I think we are back on track. I don't think I need more dirt. Don't even think I need salt water. Okay. Oh, that broke all these damn pipes. Ooh, that melted all the pipes. Uh-oh. Having the water down here. And it melted my ceramic? Good. God, that's hot. And my power wires. Yeah, once that ceramic melted, then I got a full blast. Okay. In that case, let's disable the automation. We don't want you to launch right now. What is the thermal conductivity of? I guess we're gonna go with steel. Same thing with power wires. Guess not having that second pipe really did. I mean, I didn't get enough cooling out of this. Is that pipe broken? No. You're just all too hot. All right, now you're getting back down there. Come on. Come, you're not coming down in temperature. Got the pipe. Oh, we got a meteor shower anyway, that's fine. Yeah, so I think what happened is that water flashed to steam. That steam transmitted too much heat too fast and melted everything. Let's not do that again. Wait for these to get down to a slightly more reasonable temperature and mop water and clean the water out of there. Now I think we can launch. Is Frankie back in here? Yes. Automation wire, let's reconnect that. Oh, nice and super scorching hot. It's really not picking up a lot of heat. I think it was just because that ceramic tile blew and there was steam down here that it all got screwy. You should be turning on here shortly. And that one's coming down. Okay, so yeah, I believe the issue was just the sheer amount of steam in there. These guys are head banging again. Worthless. Was not expecting it to melt the ceramic. In fact, let's deconstruct those ones since they are already 
I don't know, it's conductive wire in there that's that hot. You have 1400 degrees ceramic. Alright, good. You're back to a vacuum. And you should be down to a rate. Alright, now we're sucking heat out again. Success! We, we, we did the thing. We still have 100 kilograms of oil in there. We got some petroleum in there. Nobody's outside. I think we'll... Yeah. We'll see what the next one comes back with. So like I said, if, it, if it's only going to be a trip and a half per, this is going to be hard. That's a lot of regolith. Okay, so there's an accident. Let's close that door. And this is cooling down everything. So while it's still hot, like this whole area is already down to the 300s. Definitely don't want any more larva eggs. I am tired of those. Reject it all. I attended the Slickster farm, that, that didn't work well. There's a lot of critters here. Overheated. Oil refinery. Oh, because I don't have a cooling loop running through there. That's fine. We'll just deconstruct it. We don't need it till the rocket comes back. Building entombment. Oh, yep. You somehow got sand. Yeah, we'll just rebuild that as needed. Right now I'm not planning on anything with this natural gas. Until I start going to the, getting the methane back, then I'll figure out how to use it. The power wires are mostly holding up. In fact, our hydrogen amount is still going up even though I have some hydrogen generators. Oh, you guys are stuck. Because there's more meteorites, because there's always more meteorites. Only a slight direct hit. Nice. Pulling broken. Oh, ladder. That we don't care about. Where's our rocket? 1.8 cycles. Ooh, I needed a molecular forge. That's what I needed the space for. All right, we're gonna have to make a big giant space for that here shortly. Sure, more steel, why not? Look at all my crazy critters. All right. 
Let's wait for the rocket to come back and see if I get enough material out of it. Or if I'm going to have to bounce back and forth between a cargo and a liquid tank. Which wise, we're still looking good. I mean, that's hot, but the cooling loop's taking care of it. Rocket, 0.6 cycles. Uh oh. There we go. Oh my god, the game got stuck on me. Molecular Forge. Okay, so if I get rid of that, I'm wider by two. Rocket's back. All right, moment of truth. 600, 400. Yeah, so that is a trip and a half. Cool. All right, we are gonna call that an episode. Once I empty this, we're gonna switch it over to cargo and head over here to get the thermium. And then I gotta run to here a bunch of times before I can get up here because I still haven't actually found any fullerene. All right, thanks for watching. And yeah, this has definitely been more challenging than I thought, not getting what you need. But we're just about ready to dig down into here, then I can make bigger rockets. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day.